Time to get started on your on-shape patterns assignment. This direction, you're going to have one day. You're going to recreate the following two images. You're going to take either one screenshot or turn two screenshots, whichever way you want to do to turn it in, showing that you did it. So here's your link to on-shape. Here's the first pattern you're going to make, that cog. The second one's this Lego piece. The video when I'm done making is going to be over here. Then you have your document right here of directions and notes. Then a perfect example submission right here. I see your name in the top right hand corner. I can see your cog and your Lego piece right next to each other. And like I said, if you have trouble trying to fit it in one screenshot together, if you want to make two different part studios and take one screenshot of this and then one of that and turn it in, that's a OK. So let's get started. For the cog, we're going to draw three center point circles on the front plane based around the origin. Three, 4.375 and 5.75 inches in diameter. So that's what it looks like when I'm done. But right now for this video, let's redo it. So I'm going to go to the front of my cube. I'm going to say sketch on the front. I'm going to start with my center point circle. My inside one is three inches. My middle one is 4.375, 4.375. And my big one is 5.75, so 5.75. And you see how all those lines are in the inside and it looks messy. First thing I'm going to do is hit escape to turn the circle tool off. Now I'm going to grab these numbers that say how big things are and just move them over to the side so it's nice and easy to read. Okay. See how they're still all pointed at what each circle is, but it's so much easier to read now. That's what we want. Okay, so now we are on to step two. Draw one center point circle that intersects with the original given line, which is the right plane, and the 4.375 inch circle. This circle should have a diameter of 0.625 inches. And it'll look like this when I'm done with that. So 0.625, and it goes right there. Circle, center point, starts right there. 0.625 enter hit escape to turn the circle tool off and I got that right there so I'm moving on to step three I'm going to click once on my 4.375 circle and then delete it so this circle right here click once hit my delete button now it's gone so I have two outside circles and one small circle right there now we're on step four we're going to use a circular pattern within sketch one and repeat that circle that we made the little one eight times and then we're going to finish our sketch so we're going to repeat that one right there eight times where do you find your pattern tools drop down here you got linear circular and transform but what we run it now is circular so then you click once on your object you can see that there's th already going to be three because it says 3x is what it defaulted to so i'm just going to double click on that change it to eight press enter now i got eight of them and then i said finish the sketch right so now I got eight of them that go around there, and they're all evenly spaced. Now we're just going to extrude sketch one by a quarter of an inch, and that part is done. So extrude sketch one. We're going to make it 0.25, check mark, and there's our cog. Now let's move over to the Lego piece. So for the Lego piece, that's going to ultimately look something like that. We need to draw a rectangle off to the side of the cog from earlier, and we're going to make it 6 inches wide, 4 inches tall. So I'm going to go back to my front view over here. I'm going to say sketch. Where am I sketching? On the front. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I have space over here to draw it. So I'm going to go a rectangle, and I'm going to start right here, draw it, and I remember that this needs to be 6 wide, and that needs to be 4 tall. See how it kind of got in the way of my other gear, though? So I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to hit the escape button to turn my rectangle tool off. After I do that, I'm just going to grab this point right here and move it over. Clearly, then it's still off to the side of the screen. So if I hit front, it will recenter it. So that's much better. And it's not in the way of the gear anymore. So after we do that 6x4 rectangle, we are going to finish that sketch, and then we're going to extrude it a quarter of an inch. So finish that sketch. We're going to extrude that by 0.25. We're going to hit our check mark, and now we should have like the little base of the Lego right there. Next, we're going to draw 1.3 inch center point circle on the top of the previous extruded object. So. Sketch, make sure we're on the top of this object. I'm going to go to a circle, and I'm just going to draw it right here. 
be careful that it doesn't get constrained against something else. Like you see how it's trying to get constrained to that flat line. So I'm going to go right here so there's no yellow lines going to it. Click, do that, and I said 0.3. Now I'm going to hit the escape button to turn the circle tool off. It's gone. Next, I'm going to use the dimension button to move that center point circle so that the center of the circle is a half an inch away from the top and a center a half an inch away from the left edge. So dimension button is right here, or D on your keyboard, and I said I want the center of that to be in this line right here, I want that to be 0.5. So see how it moved it? Now I want it to also be 0.5 from the left edge. So from that center to that edge should also be 0.5. And after I do that, it moves it too. Hit escape to turn dimension tool off. And now I have both of those there. And I'm on to the next step. We're going to extrude the circle that we just made on steps three and four by a quarter of an inch. So Remember, you can just hit extrude here if you want, or you can hit check mark and then go whichever way you kids want. So I'm going to extrude that, and it's going to be 0.25. Check mark, and now you see how I got one little problem to make out. After that, we are moving to the linear pattern tool. So there's going to be 24 of these little prongs that stick out. I don't want to make this 23 more times like individually. So this is where the pattern tool comes in helpful. We are going to use this linear pattern tool. It is not within the sketch. We want it outside the sketch. And then we're going to change it to a feature pattern. So let's do that part first. So we have all these things up here. Right? So right here about halfway, we have a linear pattern function right here. I'm going to click on that. And then I already told you we need to change it right here from part pattern, feature pattern. Okay. Now that we got feature pattern right there, we are ready to look at the other things. So we're going to select the extruded circle that stuck out from the previous step, and then we're going to use those following settings. So what feature are we copying? That. Click on that. The direction. Let's look and see our settings. The direction needs to be that with the top edge of the original rectangle. So I'm going to click right here with that. And now you can see that a second one just appeared. That's good. It's just we need more. So we want them to be one inch away from each other, and we want there to be six of them in each row. So distance is one. That's perfect. We don't want to change that, but we need six of them. So six. Now they're six. But now we need more rows. So we need to add a second direction, make them one inch away from each other, and make four instances. So second direction, one inch away from each other, and four and nothing happened right here, right? It deleted some of them. What's the problem with that? Because I never told it the direction I wanted. So you have to make sure you go back to your direction, click on that edge right there, and then they all came back, okay? So if you accidentally forget to click on that, which is this edge over here, that's all you have to do is go back and tell it that's what you want. So check mark it. And now I have my Lego piece. And depending on what you want to do, Legos aren't usually gray like that. So I'm just going to say right click, edit appearance. I'm going to make it like yellow, okay? And cogs are usually silver, so let's go with that. So edit appearance. Let's go to something silver. Okay, so now I have both of these done. I'm going to go to my isometric view so I get a good shot of it. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Take this screenshot where I see your name up top. And I see both of your two things on here. Turn it in. Like I said, if you needed to make this a part studio that's separate from this one to make two different screenshots, that's fine. But either way, turn it in and you're done with this assignment.